For our drawing algorithm, we want to add the vertices in some order. And this order has to be kind of special. It has to have some properties such that we can always add the new vertex without creating any crossings. And some order that achieves this is called a canonical order. And we now want to define what this canonical order is. So let's say we have a triangulated plane graph and we have at least three vertices. We call an order, which is just a permutation basically of the vertices or a numbering of the vertices from 1 to n, is called a canonical order if three condition hold for every k between 3 and n. The vertices we want to be k, that's our subgraph gk, they induce a biconnected internally triangulated graph. So this graph has to be biconnected, that means if I remove any vertex of it, then it's still connected. But it also has to be internally triangulated, so every interior edge has to be a triangle. The second is, the edge b1, b2 belongs to the outer face of this graph. So the edge that we picked in the beginning for v1 and v2, that never becomes an interior edge. It will always be an edge on the outer face. And the third condition is if we look at the next vertex that we want to add. That lies in the outer face of this graph and all the neighbors of it appear on the boundary consecutively. That's exactly the conditions we need for our drawing algorithm that we sketched in the previous part to work. This has to be biconnected because otherwise we don't have a simple cycle outside here. And then we might have some problems when we add a new edge. You will see that later. Let's have a look at an example. We have a triangulated plane graph here and we have our conditions here. We already chose our outer face, so let's say that this edge here is the edge b1, b2, then this is our graph in the very end, this is the graph g16. Let's check if our conditions hold. Well, this graph is triangulated, so it's clearly biconnected and internally triangulated. b1, v2 is on the outer face, and k equals to n, so we don't have to check this. Now we want to determine the canonical order backwards. So first we want to pick the very last vertex, then the second last, and so on until we get to vertex B3. What is the vertex we can pick here? Well, there is only one on the outer face. So this will be our vertex B16, and I've marked here the neighbors of it. And now we want to check if our conditions still hold. So let's have a look at graph G15. Clearly condition C2 holds, and in the future I will not look at it again, since it's clear from now on that it, this will always be on the outer face. But what about C1 and C2? Is this graph still biconnected and internally triangulated? Well, internally triangulated it clearly is, and biconnected we can see that it is because the outer face is still a simple cycle, all the faces are simple cycles, so everything works out. What about C3? Well, the next vertex, Vk plus 1, V16, lies in the outer face, and the neighbors appear on the boundary consecutively, so everything is fine. Let's continue. We can now pick this vertex, for example. And if we remove it, we get G14. Still, the outer face is a simple cycle, it lies on the outer face, the neighbors are consecutive, so the conditions hold. Now we can pick V14, the outer face is still a simple cycle, the neighbors are consecutive, it's fine. We pick V13, we remove it, and now we have a problem. Because now the outer face is not biconnected anymore. It's simple to see, it is not a simple cycle. If we move along the outer face, we go from here to here, here and then back to the old vertex. And it's clear that it is not biconnected because this here is a cut vertex. If we remove this, then this vertex here has no neighbor, it's its own isolated component in G12, so it's not a biconnected graph. But why is this the case here? Why can we not choose this vertex as V13? Let's have a look back at this situation. How can we figure out that something terrible happens here? 
which of these four edges of V13 is a problematic one. What do you think? So the question is, how can this vertex become isolated? And if we look at it here, this lies on the outer face. At this edge, there are two faces. One is already on the outer face. The other one is still interior. But if we also put the other face on the outer face, then we have a problem here. And if we look at this face here, it is bounded by two edges on the outer face and one interior edge. So if we remove these two edges, then we will have this isolated edge here and we have a problem. And this interior edge here, this is a so-called chord. A chord is an interior edge between two vertices on the outer face. And in general, it's just an edge joining two non-adjacent vertices in a cycle. So from now on, we want to make sure that we never pick a vertex that has a chord. So instead of picking this one, let's just pick this one instead. This has no interior edges, so it has no chord. We can remove it, the conditions still hold. And now we can continue. We pick this one, this is not a chord, remove it. This one, this is not a chord, remove it, and so on until we get to the very last vertex to be three, and we have computed our canonical order. And if you look at every step, then you can clearly see that all of the conditions still hold. So we created a canonical order for this triangulated graph, and for that we just picked vertices that are, don't have any chords. And in the next part we want to prove that doing this is already enough to make sure that our order will be canonical.